Well, Joe ain't polished him up enough. What are the few things? Well, you gotta learn to get on your mark and get set. Just think PGA. P is for posture. That's that funny way golfers stand. They shove their butt back like a quarterback almost taking the snap. It's that same position you've been in in other sports. You're ready. You're not on your heels ready to fall on your can and you're not out on your toes ready to fall on your face. You have found your balance point. Good posture, good aim, good grip. So think PGA, good posture, good grip, good aim. You could still screw it up from here, but at least you're on your way to something better. Okay. I try to promote players to have an awareness of form. I want you looking good. If you start to look good and you practice a bunch, you might start hitting good. But bad form will lead to nothing but bad play. And if you practice bad form hard enough, you'll really become a poor player. I've seen a lot of players as an owner of a range hit a lot of balls over the years, but the things they were doing were not healthy. So they got better at being bad. So we want to be careful with practice. Good posture, good grip, good aim. Now this little shot we're playing here is a smaller, if you need a smaller shot, and by the way, they all count one, the, the, the little putt, the mini turp, the little mini chip, the longest drive ever hit, they all count the same. You would think this is the low hanging fruit. Go ahead and grab this easy stuff. Practicing a lot here will help you there. Practicing a lot there will not help you much here. You, if you can't crawl and walk, you're probably not gonna be good at running. Learn how to handle the little shots. So if you need less than a big shot, you need less than a big swing. If you need less than a big swing, you need less than a regular stance. And you need less than a full length club. So you would grip down on the club, build a stance that was small, so that you encourage a swing that's small, okay? If I need more energy, I need a bigger swing, so I'm gonna gradually widen out and come up on the end of the club, okay? That's the basic motion. Let me borrow your uh, sandwich. Let's go right there. You gotta get your face dirty to play good golf. The club face has to interact with the grass. Make sure you're clipping the grass under the balls, you know what. So if I need less than a full shot, I need less than a full swing. Can you see how it looks like a Y? Down my arms and club. Can you see it? Y. 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 Turning a little tummy turn as I make my Y swing back, unturn my tummy to get my Y to kiss the ball, and continue turning my tummy to get the Y over here. Why would I call it the Christmas swing? Because there's no L. No L. I don't need L's now because I don't need energy. I will in a moment when the target's further out, I gotta start. But here, so this is not that hard to do, technique-wise. It looks simple, doesn't it? But it's, it's not as easy as it looks. Because the club has to interact with the ball just right. If I hit an inch before the proper moment or an inch late, it ain't going to work very good. Preciseness is critical. But if your technique is reasonably simple, your practice time, you'll be rewarded more quickly than if you have an erratic style. I'm trying to get you away from erratic behavior and make you at least look like a pro. So.
this finish to the little ones is the same as this one to the big ones. Finish what you start. Wrist is risky. If you're real risky, your contact is going to be hard to manage. Okay? You want your hands to stay quiet and be moved by your Risky is risky. Here's, here's, a poor, uh, here's an example of somebody that's going to be very poor around the grains. Noisy hands, quiet body. Here's a player that's going to be pretty effective. The body's going to be moving, but the hands are going to be moving with the body, not overcoming and taking over. Risky is risky. So train yourself to finish. How do you gauge your distance? Well, it's just like tossing a ball. If you and I are tossing, I first time I might throw way over your head. Next time, halfway to you, and then in a moment, I got it dialed in. That's the way you learn. Every shot is a practice shot for the next shot. It's an endless data collecting. You're just learning from the last one to help you with the next one. <laughs> you must not be afraid to fail. Failure is the tuition you pay for progress. Don't be bothered by failing. Acknowledge the fact you just screwed up and how and why you screwed up and fix it. And have that attitude like, bring it on, baby. Nothing's going to drive me from, I'm going to get it. I think I can, I think I can. you got to keep patting yourself in the tail like a coach. You have to be the coach. You're the player and the coach. And nobody else gives a shit about your game. In fact, they probably hope you play worse. You're the only friend you got out there. And if you can't say something nice to yourself, keep your mouth shut. Just like the way you treat others. If you can't say something nice to someone, you don't say anything. Be that nice to yourself. You'd be amazed how many times I've heard people, and even me, berating me. I said, good gracious, how would you talk to, no one else in the world would you talk to like that, but you're beating yourself up like a sick dog. Get off your back and give yourself a chance. Come on, Joe, you can do it. Instead of you lousy bum, you're playing like crap today and you ain't worth a shit. It's, I know you part of you feels that way, but you have to counteract that with, come on, Joe, hang in there. Am I ringing your bell? You're getting the idea that this is not just physical, it's a little bit of a head game too. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so. Rehearse. I estimate the distance. How? Well, I see first downs. I see a 10 yard stripe, a 10 yard stripe. I see two first downs and change. I know that's where I need to carry this ball is one first down, two first downs, and change. And it's going to hit and roll up next to the hole. If I use too little energy or too much, it ain't going to work. So, let's see what we got. Oh, I killed it. I hit a home run. You gotta be careful with the sweet spot. <laughs> it, can, it can cause a problem, because the ball will go too far. But what would I do on the next one? <clears throat> well, since I'm not stupid, I gotta dial back. <laughs> so, just saw a good example of somebody been doing it 50 years and didn't do worth a shit. Am I mad? No. <clears throat> Am I disappointed? Yes. Am I eager to try again? You bet your ass. Because I'm going to dial it back a little and I'll be in a moment right on the money. I hope. If it were not for hope, no one would be here practicing their game today. Everybody here has hope that they're going to come up with something today that make them play a little better. Golf's more fun when you're hitting some good shots, just like fishing. When you're reeling them in, it's a blast. When you ain't getting nothing, it's just a day on the water. So let, let's uh, park your clubs here, grab a lofted wedge. We're gonna be playing anywhere from 40 yard shots to 75 or 80, so I've been using my 54 degree wedge, but your sand wedge or your 
a pitching wedge or a gap wedge, something with about 50 or 54 degrees loft would be appropriate. Bring one over so you can go back uh, or you can borrow one of someone, you're right-handed? Yes. Would someone allow this gentleman to touch their stick and hit the, hit the shot? You bring you didn't bring your putter or anything? Well, I didn't know how. No. Well, how, where are you, clubs? Up by the green? I don't have any clubs. Oh, okay. Oh, you're down. Where's I mean, that bag up there? I have to go back there. Walk up there and get your longest wedge and a putter out of that pile by the, before we started there. Okay. I, I'm sorry. Well, I didn't okay. know. Okay. You may have said that I did this time. I didn't read to him. Let's go ahead and play. Five, five. I five. I want to be five, five when I hit it, not six feet. If I pull back a tiny bit, it don't take but a tiny bit to hit Whitey in the head. The ball has a head and an ass. You need to clip it in its back end. Just try to clip the grass under the ball's butt. Now that ain't easy to do. That's all you have. So when you practice, put it on a tee and make your goal that of taking that one piece of wood and turning it into two. Try to get your club to kiss that tee with enough speed down to bend it over or make it do a flip Make it do a flip. Just make it do a flip or try to cut the head off of it. Just try to cut the head off the tee. With that nice swing I just showed you. Back up, make a practice swing. Start down. So we're not we don't want to tickle the grass, we want to clip it. You actually need to get the club to Make a few blades of grass in this area to leave the earth. Okay, that's your only objective. You slow it down and clip. That was a tickle, not a clip. Watch this. When your hands work this way, you get a tickle. When they work this way, when they work this way, you can clip, clip, tickle. a little closer so it takes a bit of training that was still too much tickle I want you to clip it make this tea leave the earth so it takes practice okay how do you learn to do it when you practice slow everything down just try to clip the tea and slow it down that was a good swing, but way too much energy. You've been over there in the tree. You yeah. hammered the hell out of it. <laughs> but that's all right. Yeah. Go ahead and hit it, and then we'll learn how to Turn tone it down. down a little. It's too fast. Just slow it down a little bit. Swing like you're, what age are you? 60. Swing like you're 84. Oh, okay. Hey, yes. the Lord's been good to you. It's 24 years from now, and you're here, and you will not be so aggressive. You'll say, oh, it's just going to be Joe, because I don't want to hurt him. Yeah. Okay. Swing like you're 84. Put that tee out in one of the bones. Pretty good student to let me get after him. Hey, uh, practice make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. <laughs> just clip the tee on it and give me a nice balanced finish with modest effort. You're 84. The world's been good to you. You're still here. 84. You're still swinging like the 28. And I want that piece got to leave the earth or you will. The ball has a, just like you a head and a butt. If you hit it in its upper part, it's going to roll. If you hit, hit, hit it in its butt, it'll fly. So to get it in its butt, you got to get the club to you got to get the club to interact with that tee and cut it in half. If it's coming in tall, it ain't going to work. So how do you learn to do that? Well, you draw a line on the ground, or take a can of spray paint in your backyard and keep practicing until you can land the club on the line and clip the grass on that line or a little forward of it. Can you picture that? Draw a line on the ground and train until you can consistently get the club to land on the line and then brush the grass over here. Don't need speed at this point. We're looking for, very good. Keep both hands on it, that was good. You're just looking for preciseness in the delivery. So try, just make that tee disappear or 
cut it in half. And you've got a good stance, you got a good grip. Your back swing's pretty nice. You just turn the energy down. Stay there, keep both hands on it. But that looked pretty good. I'm gonna sign off on that. <laughs> I'm betting if you keep doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and keep working. You start clipping the tape, your ball's gonna start to fly, and you got a lot of energy. I mean, you got some horsepower here. We that's gonna come in handy later, but for now, let's kind of we gotta be 84. 84. <laughs> I might say you still swung too fast at 84. I'm saying you're 92. <laughs> I heard on the news Willie Nelson is 92. Huh? And they had to cancel the concert because he didn't feel good. Well, yeah, it was 97 degrees. I wanted to and back up. Auntie Annuals. 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 Auntie Annuals.
kind of scoop under the ball. Well, that works like that's the stove top again. Sometimes you get away with it, and most times you don't. So watch what I'm going to do to this ball with my foot. If I had the right sneakers on, I could pinch the back of this ball with a pretty good downward force and the ball is going to spin and climb up a couple of inches off the ground. And look what it's doing is people say, how do I get backspin? Well, so I got to get the club to do to the ball what, what my foot was doing. It's got to be going down. We're never trying to, you got to pinch the grass, pinch it. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing? We're schooling. Mm -hmm. You're learning taking, like you all all much like a sponge, just soaking all this knowledge in. Yeah. And uh, they're, we're learning from each other. Okay. I'm getting them to coach each other. Okay, well that's what and it's all about. It's easy to see. Oh, I see what Joe did wrong, or I see what Tom did wrong. But Tom's the one that needs to see it. Now, come on here. Uh, well, we're just time. about done for this morning. It's about five to ten. Time flies when everybody's having fun. Oh, well,